We all know the better Discord fancy dancy plugins, and oh my gosh, what a hassle they are. You gotta download them, you gotta put them in a folder and all that other stuff. Don't worry about it, because I'm going to show you how to make that a heck of a lot easier. First off, we actually need to get better Discord, just in case you know you completely forgot about this. So go to the first link in the description, click on download v1.1.1. Now while it's downloading, better Discord is against Discord's terms of service. What does that mean? You have a chance of being banned. That's kind of it. Uh, ju just be safe out there. So open up the installer and you will get this fancy dancy, nice looking installer that will say read the terms of the license agreement. I don't care, just click accept, click next, click next, just as fast as you can. Now this is where it's important, you gotta select your Discord version. Just pick one of them. If it doesn't show up, reinstall Discord and it should show up. Click install, then it'll go through the download installer thing. Discord should restart in the background and pop up, and you'll see this massive window pop up in your face. And there we go. That's the massive window I was talking about. All you got to do is press the X button, click on your settings button, and the main thing you want to look for is you want to see better Discord in your settings. If, if you don't see these better Discord settings, just go to my Discord server and look in the FAQ because it's there. And I should redesign the FAQ because it's really hard to navigate. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, moving on. Next up, we actually need to install the plugins that we're going to use to allow us to browse kind of like an app store for better Discord. So to download the little app store thing I was talking about, go to the second link in the description and click the download button. Now an ad may pop up, all you gotta do is press X on it, and then you gotta click download again. A Little bit of a pain in the rear, but these guys gotta make their money somehow. And once you download it, you'll see this thing that it'll say it can harm your computer and all the scary stuff. Just click keep, it's not going to. Then go to the third link in the description and go to plugin repo, click download, and it will say, it can harm your computer. Once again, just keep it, it's completely fine. And now you are ready to actually install these plugins. So go back to Discord, go into your Discord settings, go into plugins, then click open plugins folder, and it'll open up in the background, so you have to go to your file explorer and open it up, and you should see an empty folder. All you need to do is right click on downloads, click open a new window, and you will see your two plugins. Just drag the plugin repo and the theme repo into the plugins folder. So I'm going to select them and drag them in. And now you need to do one more thing. Go back to Discord. And when you're back at Discord, you may get a pop-up saying that you need to install a library plugin. Now, if you accidentally clicked off of it like I did and had a midlife crisis, all you need to do is try to enable one of the plugins, click on settings, then click download now. It will automatically download the library plugin that you need, which is BDFDB. It's a mouthful, but click done. Make sure to enable BDFDB before you go anywhere else, then enable all the plugins. And now, if you see in your better Discord settings, you have plugin repo and theme repo. So plugin repo allows you to load the better discord.app website, and you'll be able to see a whole bunch of plugins. Now my internet is dog water. There we go, finally. You can see, this is why I don't live stream. So using this, you can download any plugin you want, and you don't have to worry about putting it in your theme settings and all this other stuff. And also at the top, you can just click X on these little pop-ups. They're annoying, but they should go away after the first time you close them. So I'm going to install badges everywhere. I'm going to click download. It will install it that quickly. Holy moly. It'll pop up with the change log like normal. And once it has that, if I press escape, you will see if I go on a cool Discord server, I am able to see badges everywhere. Fancy. So it installs that quick. Now the same thing applies with theme repo. If you open it up, you'll see a whole bunch of themes and I'm going to download AMOLED cord because it's the first one, to be completely honest. Now it will automatically apply, but let's say I install another theme. So I want to maybe do black hole. So I click black hole and I download it and it says installed, but nothing changed. There's one thing you have to keep in mind with this is that if you have multiple plugins and multiple themes, you still need to go back to the plugins and themes section where you enable and disable those plugins and themes. So I downloaded the black hole theme. I need to disable the AMOLED cord theme, then enable the black hole theme. It's way more convenient, but you also need to keep that in mind. If you just no brain it, you're going to have issues. And that wraps up the installation portion of the video. If it worked, like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even further, just turn off your ad blocker when you watch my videos. And if for some odd reason it didn't work out for you, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or join my Discord and put your issue in the help channel and I will help you out as soon as I can. Now let's get on to the uninstall portion of the video. So let's say you just don't want these plugins anymore, or you don't want better Discord anymore, I'm going to show you how to remove them. So first go to your user settings, then you need to go and scroll down to plugins. All you need to do to remove a plugin is just click on the trash icon underneath the actual plugin name, and it will delete it. And for the themes, same thing applies, I don't want the black hole theme anymore, I'm going to click delete, 
it is going to delete it and now I'm back to normal. And you can do that for every single theme and you can also do that for every single plugin. Mind you, if you have like no plugins or no themes on Better Discord, there's really no point of having it. So this is how to uninstall Better Discord. All you need to do is make sure the installer is closed. Then go back to your downloads and you need to open up the installer. So double click on the installer. Then it's gonna pop up with a license agreement. You just want to read it front to back or not and click I accept the license agreement, press next. Then you will see this uninstall better Discord option. Click on it, then click next. Then click on the Discord version you installed it to. I'm talking so much I'm gonna have a heart attack. Click uninstall and guess what? It's gone and you get to see all the crap that I didn't even remove when I'm recording. Goodness gracious, I'm just a hot mess. And look at that, Discord is back to normal. And to validate that it's back to normal, click on your user settings and you should see that the Better Discord section is gone. If Better Discord is not gone, then feel free to join my server. I'll help you out because I've never actually seen that before, which is would be frightening and confusing. Any hoot, holler, dollar, baller, noller and a half, I'm going to drink candle wax. Goodbye.